What was interesting about this specific Christmas Day, though, was that something really stood out to me, right? For years, we have had NBA basketball on Christmas Day. It has been completely synonymous with the holidays. So many great matchups through the years. Uh, you know, LeBron versus Kobe, Miami versus the Lakers, Shaq versus Kobe when Shaq left L.A. You go on and on and on down the list. As I said, Christmas Day has been synonymous with uh, the NBA for as long as I can remember being a sporting fan. But something funny happened on Saturday, and I couldn't help but think that a sea change is coming in the way that we consume sports. Because on Saturday, for the second straight year, we had NFL football on Christmas Day, and I cannot lie, the second that the NFL game started, Green Bay, Cleveland, Indianapolis, Arizona, I kind of forgot the NBA existed. And so as I sat back on Saturday, again, we talked about it a little bit on my radio show, I could not help but think one thing. Is the NFL about to kill NBA basketball on Christmas Day? Is Christmas basketball about to go to the way of the dodo bird with the 30,000-pound monster Godzilla, the NFL squashing it into oblivion? And it sounds crazy. It sounds like it'll never happen. But I do think there is a little something to this idea, and I think you guys as sporting fans, I think you guys are probably a pretty good reflection of this because I bet a lot of you, much like me, once the NFL started, you kind of forgot the NBA even existed. And so let's backtrack, let's peel back the layers, and let me say a couple things about this past Christmas, two days ago, Saturday, December 25th, 2021, and what uh, you know the sports calendar that happened, right? First of all, I don't want to get too overly dramatic too early, Uh, and as critical as I've been of the NBA on a lot of things through the years, the one thing I will say straight up, uh, they had some stuff working against them on Saturday, right? Some of the biggest stars on some of these teams were out. Kevin Durant did not play for the Brooklyn Nets. The Atlanta Hawks were down nine guys, I believe, including Trey Young. Giannis was actually in protocols right up until Christmas Day, so we didn't get the best version of Giannis. Luka Doncic is out because of COVID, and so the NBA was so certainly working at a major disadvantage, not having many of its marquee players in the games that were supposed to be on on Saturday. And what I would also say is before I start saying the NFL is taking Christmas and not giving it back, um, I don't know that the NFL wants to continue to play on Christmas Day. And it is worth noting that they normally play the Saturday night, Saturday afternoon games on Saturdays in December once college football ends after the conference championship games. And so I bring it up to very simply say there is that possibility that the NFL has no interest in playing on Christmas Day going forward, no interest in playing games, no interest in bringing fans to the stands, all that good stuff, uh, because we just don't know yet what they want to do. But as I said, this is now the second year in a row that the NFL has played on Christmas Day, and I think you kind of have to go back to last year to see how this all started, to see the success that it had, and to see why we might be getting NFL football on Christmas Day going forward. And I think it's really interesting, and you guys know I love sports, I, I, I love the behind-the-scenes stuff in sports, how stuff comes together, how it works, what works, what doesn't, all that good stuff. And if you go back to last year, We had Saints-Vikings on Christmas Day. But the reason we had Saints-Vikings on Christmas Day was really interesting. It was because of the fact that the NBA, if you can go back 12, 13 months, was not sure when their actual 2020-2021 season was going to start. They had the bubble in the summer of 2020 to finish their season during the the early part of the pandemic. The season ends in like early to mid-September, if I remember correctly. And once the season ends, the NBA can't even decide when they're going to start the next season coming off of the bubble season in late 2020. And so there's talk that it's going to get pushed back into 2021, that they're not going to open the season before or on Christmas. And so that was how the NFL kind of sidled their way, snuck their way in. Sidled, by the way, a nice term for for the Seinfeld fans there, but they sidled their way in the side door and said, well, wait a second now, NBA, if you're not positive you're going to start on Christmas Day, then you know what? We'll give the fans a little, we'll just give the fans a little taste of NFL football, and we'll go ahead and see if we, uh, you know, if you guys have any interest, blah, 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 this and that, and then, oh, by the way, NBA, uh, if you do decide to play, we're just playing one game, no big deal, you know, we're not even going to take up too much of your bandwidth, and so what ends up happening, the NBA does start its season last year, right before Christmas Day, but in that window where they weren't sure when they were going to start, when guys like LeBron James were pushing back the, the, you know, saying we can't start, it's too early, we just finished this bubble, the NFL said, yeah, we're just going to throw a game on Christmas Day, no big deal. You know what happened? And I looked this up before my radio show on Saturday just to confirm. The game that was on Christmas Day last year in the NFL did insane numbers. 
Overall, 20 million viewers watched Viking Saints on Christmas Day last year. 20 million viewers. For comparison's sake, for comparison's sake, the NBA Finals last year, Game 6, Bucks Suns, peaked at, at 16 million and did across the board about 12 million consistently viewers, Game 6 NBA Finals. So in other words, at its peak, the highest rated NBA game of last season didn't even come close to getting the number that a Christmas Day game did in the NFL. And this isn't to necessarily at this particular moment compare NBA versus NFL, but I do think the NFL kind of smelt some blood in the water. And I do think the NFL was kind of like, well, wait a second now. We got all these people on Christmas Day. And oh, by the way, remember last year there was NBA basketball on Christmas Day. And I think the NFL kind of said, well, wait a second now. We already have Thanksgiving. We already have a lot of other windows and wiggle room and all this and stuff. But why can't we put games on Christmas Day? And so maybe it was a total coincidence that we had two games on Christmas Day this year. Uh, And maybe it was only because it fell on a Saturday and there's usually Saturday games in December. But I do wonder if this, if this is the plan of the NFL going forward, and I do wonder what it means for the NBA. Because like I said a minute ago, I don't ever remember the NBA feeling less relevant on Christmas Day than it did this year, 2021. And I even go back to probably the marquee game of Christmas Day. Uh, was supposed to be Lakers-Nets, but you know Kevin Durant was out, Anthony Davis is hurt, whatever. But the marquee game ended up being Phoenix against Golden State, which ended at the exact same time as Green Bay Cleveland. And it kind of felt like everybody was watching Green Bay Cleveland. Nobody was paying attention to the NBA. And I kind of do wonder if the NFL smells blood in the water. And I will say in the bigger picture, and we'll get to some college football in a minute, um, you know, I think this is kind of a metaphor for, for both of these leagues, right? And what I do think is important to note, we will find out in the coming days if I am right on this, if the NFL just squashed the NBA on Christmas Day. Uh, maybe that'll be part of where Aaron was right, where Aaron was wrong on Thursday's show, because I do think we'll, we'll find out pretty soon if the NBA, you know, maybe rated a little bit better than we thought, if the NFL rated a little bit worse, or did the NFL completely squash the NBA? But I do think this is kind of a metaphor for both leagues, right? Um, you know, Roger Goodell is nothing but a national media punching bag, but it seems like everything the NFL touches turns to gold, and Adam Silver can do no wrong in the media's eyes, and the NBA is a complete disaster from a a business and and growth and everything standpoint, and so I do think it's interesting, right, because, uh, you know, I've talked about this for years on this show, like, everybody loves to crush Roger Goodell, but the bottom line is, like, like, Every, like, like everything the NFL touches, as I said a minute ago, turns to gold. Every decision that he makes, uh, you know, works out well for the league. And part of it is, I understand people love the NFL. Part of it is, I understand that there's now more betting than there's ever been. Part of it is, I understand that there's fantasy. But I bring it up to say, for all the criticism that Roger Goodell gets, it seems like everything he does works out well. Just think about it. Just think about it. Think back about, what, six, seven years when they first implemented the full-time Thursday night schedule. Um, and and I, you know some of you might not remember, but it was a very controversial thing at the time. It used to be kind of like what we have on Saturday right now, where there was a couple Thursday night games at the end of the year. It was kind of something different. It was kind of quirky. It was kind of weird. And then one year we just decided, you know what? We're going to 16. We're, we're going to 16 weeks of Thursday night football, and everybody freaked out, and the players, and this and that. And then they got over it, and then it was just part of the deal. And then we moved on. Same with the playoffs last year. Remember the playoffs last year? We're going to add an extra wild card game. Oh my goodness, why are we messing up the symmetry of wild card weekend, of this weekend, of that weekend? And then we got an extra playoff game on Saturday, and we got an extra playoff game on Sunday that first weekend. And all of a sudden, we were like, this is awesome. This is great. Let's do more of this. By the way, 17 game, seventeen week regular season this year. We'll see what the ripple effects or the side effects of it are, but I tend to believe that people are going to love it. You go across the board beyond just the games and the playoffs and the Thursday night games. Don't forget, uh, you know, when the Rams left St. Louis for, the, for Los Angeles, it was incredibly unpopular at the time, and now I looked it up this morning. The Rams' valuation of its, uh, of its uh, franchise is well over $4 million. The Raiders move into Vegas, on and on and on and on and on. And so I just bring this up because for all the criticism that the NFL gets, it seems like everything that they do works out well. 
Thursday night football worked out. Uh, the, 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 you know, the, the extra playoff spot works out well. Now, by the way, as I record here on Sunday, we have a bunch more teams that are in the playoff mix simply by adding one more wild card spot. And it makes these week 15, 16, 17 games much more relevant. Uh, beyond that, we, of course, have the uh, expanded, the, the extra week of the regular season. And so I am just saying for all the criticism the NFL gets, uh, they it feels like everything they do works out well for them. And I do wonder if Christmas Day is next, right? It's really interesting. You go back to last week. Obviously, a few games got pushed back because of COVID to Tuesday night. Well, guess what happened? The Tuesday night ratings were through the roof. And I saw Colin Cowherd, you know, my buddy, and I don't want to speak for him, but on one of his shows, one of his podcasts, I think he kind of speculated, hey, is it possible that we see Tuesday night football down the road? Uh, you know, not, maybe not every week to start, maybe not this, but, but every once in a while, because the NFL remains the highest rated TV show in America pretty much across the board. And the, the, the TV networks want more NFL, the, the, the league wants more NFL, whatever. So I'm rambling, I'm raving, I'm ranting, I'm raving, I'm this. But I just found it really interesting that on Sunday... It was the first, or on Saturday, we got two NFL games the second year in a row, and I will be fascinated with two things. One, I will be fascinated to see what the TV ratings are for the NFL. I tend to think that that Browns-Packers game, the numbers were through the roof, even going back to Thanksgiving, by the way, and I know the NBA doesn't play on Thanksgiving, but the Raiders-Cowboys was the highest rated Thanksgiving game this year in 30 plus years. Uh, so fast forward, I'm very curious to see what the ratings were, especially of that uh, Packers-Browns game. Then, of course, also the Cardinals-Colts game, because I think that'll be an interesting barometer as well. If the Cardinals and Colts, to pretty relatively, and I know we got a lot of Colts fans that listen, but in the grand scale, we're not talking about Packers, Steelers, Cowboys, Brady, Rodgers, Belichick, whatever. Those are two pretty sort of irrelevant franchises on a national scale. And if they absolutely squashed the Saturday night NBA primetime Christmas Day game of Lakers versus Nets, I do tend to wonder if the NFL is going to look back and say, dude, we, we got we to gotta press forward. Christmas Day is ours. We planted our flag on that territory, and we're going to move forward. What will be especially interesting, next year Christmas Day does fall on a – uh, Christmas Day does fall on a Sunday. I would expect the NFL to to kind of keep their schedule as is. It's interesting. We looked it up on Saturday. The last time Christmas uh, Christmas fell on a Sunday, the NFL actually pushed all their games to Christmas Eve on Saturday and only played one or two games on Christmas. Next year, I would expect the full Christmas Day treatment across the board, games all over on Christmas Day. And then I think 2023 is going to be the interesting year. And I know I'm kind of all over the place now. I'm rambling like I tend to do. But I do wonder, 2023, when Christmas Day officially falls on a Monday, a day where we usually only get one NFL game and where we would normally get five NBA games, do we see two? Do we see three NFL games? And does the NFL officially plant its flag on Christmas Day? 